Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel uh, Proven PC Tips. Oh, in this channel as an IT professional with lots of experience I will try to teach public and ordinary computer users how to efficiently optimize and maintain their Windows operating system for best reliability, longevity, performance and privacy protection. Uh, from the privacy protection point of view, it's crucial that you protect your account with the password. Computer account with the password is the same as door without the lock and the key so anybody can enter any time without any control so let's focus today on cleaning and boosting performance or Windows 7, 8, 8 .5 and 10 because they are built on the same platform we will be using built-in cleaning and optimization tools in today video. In the next few videos I will cover free tools for advanced and basic optimization and maintenance. So our learning goal is to teach public to optimize their Windows operating system, especially Windows 10, which is the latest and prevalent today, uh, considering the fact that everybody will soon have to switch to Windows 10, uh, because Windows 7, 8 and following 8.1 will soon be not supported. That means they won't be getting uh, security and performance patches. So basically it's not going to be secure operating system anymore. So Windows 10 is a software as a service because it's regularly updated every six months and it actually provides us with the latest features for modern computing. Uh, first I will show you how to get rid, which means uninstall, of some bloatware apps that are greatly loaded in Windows 10. Uh, for that we can do that if we go to start and let's say we first app that we don't need is uh, these games if you don't play it right click uninstall and click uninstall again so it's gone next one that we don't need if you don't play it is farm heroes saga uninstall uninstall again feedback hub is application that is used for submitting feedbacks to Microsoft. But what is interesting about this app that we are never sure what kind of feedback is Microsoft, Microsoft collecting and using our bandwidth to get feedback on the operating system performance. If they want our feedback they should be somehow awarding us for our time and the bad bandwidth utilized. Get help is not quite useful also but we cannot remove it regularly we can remove it using advanced tools also Groove Music is still up in development and not very useful so I suggest uninstalling this I will suggest better replacement for that one The next one is tips. Let's uninstall that one because most tips are just 
some kind of distracting information and if you don't use and don't have Xbox uninstall it also this is a number of apps that have no practical use as of now S also if you don't play games look we cannot get rid of game bar neither get help but I will show you later on how to uninstall them using free tool the free tool that I will be using is called uh, CC cleaner it's very powerful cleaning opt optimization application which is free there is also paid professional version but I will show you how to get maximum from the free version so we go to tools uninstall tab so we see the list of all the installed applications so I said we need to uninstall game bar and also next one that we need to ins uninstall is if you don't use Microsoft pay better get rid of that okay Xbox all the elements of Xbox if you're not gamer if you don't play in games right click uninstall look how easy it is to get rid of these bloatware apps so this is get help okay okay it's gone now after that we will switch to the startup tab and we will check what apps run on startup as you can see I have classic start menu installed it actually resembles the menu of Windows XP Vista and Windows 7 which for us professionals is much easier and faster to navigate than the classic Windows 10 menu which requires lots of scrolling yeah so this is just comparison of two menus I personally prefer this classic shell because it gives me classic folder view in the menu where we can scroll very fast okay the next thing is schedule tasks so we can disable tasks that we don't need just right click disable this is the context menu and Windows services here we see what services run so we can actually disable some services and we can also remove some browser plugins here we can see restore points and if we switch to custom clean we can run clean to clean leftovers of the uninstalled apps 3.08 megabytes removed it's not much but it's something that we basically don't need these are this is registry cleaner that removes uh, leftover entries from the registry only one entry for now okay let's remove it let's close CC cleaner okay let's go back to our outline okay uh, let me just show you I have uh, the most powerful i5 processor of third generation as you can see that's i5 3570k case means the processor is unlocked so nominal frequency of the processor is 3.4 gigahertz but look look the current frequency the CPU is working on using stock cooler and stock fan so basically that's advanced step of optimization of the machine to optimize process processor to get the most speed from the processor as you can see memory is usage is 3.1 gigabytes of 
I have total 16 gigabytes of RAM but available is 11.7 because I'm sharing uh, I'm sharing portion of memory for my integrated graphic so memory usage is quite low the lower the usage the more free resources system has for running apps okay let me show you how to how to make sure that everything's up to date this is the Windows settings if you go to update and security tab check for updates it will check for updates for a few seconds and after that it will yeah it found one security intelligence update for Windows Defender antivirus so it will install it in a few seconds so make sure that you yeah until you get green check mark and you're up to date that means everything's up to date okay next thing that I want to show you for today is uh, is updating drivers so in order to do that right click actually it's better to go through right click to this PC and choose properties after that device manager after that right click on the computer name scan for hardware changes if you see any device that has yellow triangle or some kind of mark make sure that you right click as you can see in my case everything's up to date so if you want to update some component check for driver update driver it will search automatically for the driver if it doesn't find anything it will suggest you to go to Windows update so it's always good idea to follow that prompt in the next few videos I will show you how to keep your drivers updated for free using free driver update utility okay that's about the driver updates and Windows updates next step is to use Windows disk cleanup tool let me switch to class to standard uh, Windows 10 menu so we have to scroll down to to Windows administrative tools and choose this cleanup so in my case it already found the system drive and look I suggest to check everything but downloads folder because downloads folder is for saving downloads but if you put check mark to clean downloads it may clean the downloads that you don't want to be cleaned that are still not saved into the storage area of your PC so when you click clean system files it will check for update leftovers and backup files and I suggest put all the check marks except downloads the blue down pointing arrow and under more options clean older shadow copies and backup images after that click OK and delete files in a few moments it will go through all the unneeded or unnecessary files on your machine and clean them up the cleaning will be fully finished when you restart the computer okay in order to to get more from the disk cleanup there is option to use uh, sage function for more powerful cleanup so we have to set and run arguments I will show you that in the next video because that requires a little bit more time and it's advanced option next step 
is to do okay let me switch to classic to actually standard Windows 10 menu we we go to the same folder and we go to defrag and optimize drives okay as you can see I have lots of drives in my machine so basically if you go to change setting we can set up to run on schedule which is recommended I suggest running weekly and keeping this check mark and choosing all the drives as you can see all my drives have check marks and automatically optimize new drives so it will recognize solid state drives from the hard disk drives and perform trimming for solid state disks and the classic defragmentation for the hard disk drives so if I click optimize it will analyze first and after that it will as you can see my machine is well optimized only one one hard disk drive needs optimization it has 48 percent fragmented okay so okay that's about defragmentation defragmentation is actually putting the files in order for faster reading and writing on the disk so when the files are in order a hard drive head doesn't need to jump from the sector to sector to collect the parts of the file it just jumps to one sector where is the be beginning of that file and it reads everything that's related to that file and and when it does writing it writes in the free space contiguously so basically that makes computer much more responsive and faster even though as you can see computers are fast nowadays uh, we need to do defragmentation look my beast is still over 5 gigahertz current speed and lower utilization even though I'm running defrag and I'm running real-time video capture which uses up to 30 percent of the CPU power okay the next thing is to go to settings of Windows 10 to check all the categories to make sure that they are as optimized as possible okay as you can see even though my machine is powerful uh, multitasking as capturing video and the fragmentation takes toll on the processor so under the system so as you can see I have 24 inches monitor so there is no need for me to to suffer from staying on